have a million things on my mind, but I wanted to talk about this coin that I got at Essen. Um, it's a very standard metal coin. It has, has two sides to it, which you wouldn't expect because most coins don't have two sides. And um, <laughs> it, it, was on the, it was on the Arab, um, there was like a couple of different bins of coins and they had Egyptian and Greek and Asian, and this one was Arab. So I, I, I just, there's no real reason for me to pick this one up over the others, other than I liked the design better than the others. Um, so that's what I picked up, the Arab one, whatever it is. And coins, I really like. I, I, I need things to fiddle around with, and I really enjoy doing this, you know? I really like doing that. And um, I also like pens, for example, for instance. <laughs> I also like pens, I like fiddling with them, I like spinning them. Uh, it's fun, it's something to fiddle with. And I'm not particularly good with coins in the sense that I can't really do, you know, those things. I can't really do it, though I should probably start practicing now that I have a really, really nice, strong, like, it's, it's a really good size kind of coin um, that costs exactly one euro. So this thing costs exactly one euro. But there's a thing about coins that I really enjoy, and that's that the fact that you could do this and make up your mind. Well, it's not make up your mind, but it helps make a decision. And there's two things here. One, the obvious, is that the coin will choose for you. If you can't decide between two things, well, you've got 50-50, it's random, and that's just what's going to do. And you trust the coin as if it's some kind of ineffable power that this is just, this is what you're going to do now, and that's it. And if, you ca if you're capable of doing that, of actually saying, this is what I'm going to do, whatever comes out, then that's fantastic, because it helped you decide and move forward instead of being stuck on a decision. But the second thing is, and that's the thing that I really like, is that sometimes you could fling the coin, not always, but there's a good chance that when you fling the coin up in the air, before you look at the result, you already know what you want it to come out, which has helped you make the decision without the random chance. More videos coming up soon. So much to talk about. So many things I want to do. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.